Hello developers and welcome to the PHP Architect channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Scott Keck Warren, and on this channel we discuss a wide variety of topics related to the PHP ecosystem. Make sure you subscribe so you can get our latest videos when they're published. Now, long-term subscribers might be wondering who is this person? And that's a fair question now that I'm popping up in your feed. I'm a professional PHP developer with over 10 years of experience, and for the last two years I've been making educational videos on YouTube, as well as writing articles for PHP Architect. And I'm excited to announce that I will be making videos for the PHP Architect channel. We're going to be covering a wide variety of topics, including general development concepts, tools to make your life easier, and interviews with key members of the community. We're currently hard at work on new videos for you, and we expect the first new videos to hit your feed sometime in September. But we wanted to give you a sneak peek at what you can expect in the future, so we're rebroadcasting an existing video I made on what is refactoring. Enjoy. This video is brought to you by Cloudways. We are all developers and love to write code, but managing the servers that that code runs on can be a time-consuming and error-prone process. Cloudways helps you spend less time managing your servers and more time doing what you really want to do, coding. You only need one account to manage servers on multiple platforms and for multiple customers. Pick just the server size and location that makes the most sense for you and your customers. You could even estimate your costs for your server before spinning it up. Cloudways offers peace of mind and flexibility so you can focus on growing your business instead of dealing with server management. With Cloudways, you get an optimized stack, managed servers, backups, a staging environment, integrated Git, pre-configured Composer, 24-7 support, and a choice of five different cloud providers, Amazon Web Services, DigitalOcean, Linode, Google Cloud, and Vulture. Get a discount of 20% for three months using the code PHP ARCH. Check them out today using our affiliate link at phparch.com slash cloudways. One of our core tenets of development is that code is read more than it's written. To that end, we must make sure that our code is as easy to read and understand as possible. No one writes perfect code on the first try, so it's important that we continually refine our code so it's easy for the next developer to read, even if we're the next developer. What? is refactoring. Code refactoring, or just refactoring from this point on, is the process of restructuring existing code without changing its external behavior. When we refactor our code, we're primarily looking to do two things, improve the readability and reduce the complexity. These two items help make the code easier to maintain and extend, which allows us to deploy more features to our users. Unfortunately, refactoring can be very subjective, so when we're working as a team, it's a good idea to make sure that as we refactor our code, it still fulfills the standards that the team has created. Maybe run the options of refactoring past a coworker to see if they agree with the best course of action that you've come up with. How to easily refactor our code. The most important component to being able to easily refactor our code is automated tests. Having automated tests allows us to confidently change our code and know for certain that we didn't break the code that we just refactored. We can still refactor our code without tests, but we have to be a lot more careful about it. The best way to make sure that our code has automated tests that will detect the happy accidents made during refactoring is by developing our code using test-driven development. Now we need to look for some code that needs to be refactored. The way that we do this is by looking for code smells. Things about our code that makes us look at it and go, P.U. There are lots of different code smells. Some of the easiest to find are long methods, duplicate code, poor names, long parameter lists, and dead code. Refactoring by Martin Fowler. An excellent primer for refactoring our code is Refactoring by Martin Fowler, available any place that sells books. We highly recommend purchasing this book and giving it a once over to get some of that information into your head. In this series, we'll go over a lot of the refactorings described in the book, adapted to work in a PHP-friendly context, so make sure you subscribe to get a notice when we put out a new video. What you need to know. Refactoring is the process of restructuring existing code without changing its external behavior. Code smells are things to look for in our code to determine where to refactor. I hope you enjoyed our video. 
If so, make sure you subscribe, comment, share, and like as it does help others find us. Are there topics you would like to see us cover in this channel? Let us know in the comments below or send me a message on Twitter at Scott Keck Warren. We would love to hear how we can help you and it always brightens my day when we get to hear from a fan. This is Scott Keck Warren for the PHP Architect channel signing off and reminding you to keep listening, keep coding, and keep reading. Thank you.